Hello guys, welcome back to Popcorn in Bed. Thank you so much for being here. I just got back from a small weekend vacation to California. It was wonderful and lovely. We went to see the amazing John Williams in the Hollywood Bowl. I'm hoping to release a vlog all about the trip sometime soon. I wanted to tell you that because tonight I'm watching National Lampoon's Vacation. And I mean, we had our fair share of little travel hiccups. I booked the wrong days for hotel car and flights. Whoopsie daisy, had to switch all that around. We ended up renting a Tesla because it was the same price as renting a Camry. We did it through Turo. The morning we were supposed to leave for the flight. The maps took us to the middle of nowhere. So then we were running 40 minutes behind. We couldn't charge it, which is annoying because normally you could just fill up with gas. We ended up leaving it with like 9% battery and then we landed and the guy said, um, I couldn't make it to a charging station. Got to charge you for a tow. Whoops, a uh, daisy. So we had a blockbuster poll. We did three this summer for action, sci-fi, and comedy. This last one was comedy. American Graffiti, Caddyshack, National Lampoon's Vacation, Risky Business, Midnight Run, Bull Durham, Parenthood. I voted for Bull Durham. But the winner was National Lampoon's Vacation. It got 38% of the vote and second place was Caddyshack and American Graffiti in third. I have seen National Lampoon's Christmas one only like on TV and maybe turned it on in the middle. I haven't given it a full viewing experience like I should, but I know that it's one of those things keep going wrong kind of things, which I loved Planes, Trains, and Automobiles. That was one of my favorite comedies I've watched on the channel. So I think this might be the same kind of vibe. I know Chevy Chase is in it. He was on Community, which I laughed my butt off the first few seasons. If you want to vote on polls like this, Patreon, it's so fun. You can join for as little as $3 to vote on the polls. The higher levels get full watch alongs, early access to the YouTube edits and the full reactions. I watch everything about a week or sometimes two earlier so could be fun like subscribe you're the best remember to hit that bell i always live chat during premieres which is always a fun way to connect with all of you okay without further ado national lampoon's vacation Silent, fidgety. Sour Patch Kids, I think you guys know, are one of my favorite snacks. I saw these grape ones. Canada has a grape sour candy that I love. Hey Carly. Looks very delicious. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. That's everything I wanted it to be. Oh man. Isn't it so weird that the grape flavor doesn't actually taste like grapes? It's directed by Harold Ramis. He's the Ghostbuster guy, right? Station wagon, classic. Black Griswold, I'm trading my wife's old car in. Eugene Levy. On our way to California in the morning, the big vacation, the whole family, Wally World. There she is. Thank the wagon. This is not the car I ordered. You didn't order the uh, metallic P? Metallic P? <laughs> no, Antarctic Blue. Mr. Griswold ordered a blue sports wagon. Where is it? I don't know, sir. If you can't get it for me, I'm going to take my business elsewhere. Where's my old car? No. Get Mr. Griswold's car back. You're thinking of taking the tribe cross country. This is the automobile you should be using. You think you hate it now, but wait till you drive it. No way. Let's go, Rice. <laughs> I like that he actually tried to. Metallic PAO. Hey, oh, to the wife. Dad, is that the right car? I thought we were going to get the little sports thing. The sports wagon is much too small. This is your automobile. Why is it still running? Oh, all new cars do that. I'll take care of that in a second. You may think you hate it now, honey, but where do you drive it? It's not too late to fly out to California. You're going to Disneyland? OK, shut off Dad. the video games. I've worked out the whole trip on the computer, so we get the maximum <laughs> amount of fun time at Wally World without missing any good stuff along the way. Rusty, please do not eat the truckster. Oh, great, Audrey. Thank you, Audrey. Dad, I forgot. Why aren't we flying? Getting there is half the fun. Drive right, careful now, Clark. Wally World, here we come. <laughs> Don't sing, don't sing. Any of the time. 
<laughs> were those the same kids that were in the Christmas vacation one? Oh, my kids. We don't know any of your songs. Dad's not made up. How about the Wally World National Anthem? Who's the um, moose? Is moose we know. Marty Moose. Copyright, they couldn't see. M-A-R-T-Y. M-I-C-K-E-Y. M-O-U-S-E. That's me. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that's more like it. Jimmy Crack Corn and, and I, I don't, don't care. care. Jimmy Crack. We're going to have an adventure, aren't we? I looked over Jordan and what did I see? Van of Angels. What smells in here? Hey. <laughs> Russ, Russ, your feet. <laughs> me and Carly used to go in the back seat. Every summer we'd drive the 12 hour road trip to Utah. And I would go this way, she'd go this way. So our feet were always just <laughs> each other's faces. <laughs> I've been there. That's the St. Louis Arch. There's an elevator all the way to the top. Wow, Dad, can we go up on it? No. Dad, what river is this? It's the Mississippi, the mighty Mississippi. <laughs> the old. He's such a dad, I love it. Clark, I think this is the wrong exit. What's the difference as long as we get across the river? We have no business being in an area like this. We can't close our eyes to the plight of the cities. Kids, you noticing all this plight? <laughs> Roll them up. <laughs> Pardon me. Uh, I wonder if you could tell me how to get back on the expressway. Kill mama. Thank you very much. <laughs> Excuse me, Holmes. What it is, bro? We're from out of town. No. Really appreciate it if you could give me directions back onto the expressway. You see which way you're pointing, right? Yeah, <gasps> yeah, okay, that's good. What are these guys now, the Commodores? Who are the Commodores? Thanks a lot, you've been a great help. They took their help gaps. This reminds me of the time in college when we drove down to Fort Lauderdale in my Austin Healy. Remember what we did in the car? It's amazing we didn't get in an accident. Why don't we live a fond memory? Kids are asleep. Let's wait till we get to a motel. Okay, we'll wait. Wanna put your head in my lap? Hey, I can move it anyway. My head's stuck. Quit kidding around, it hurts. Oh my God. I'm stuck. Cut it out. I know what you're trying to do, and I oh think it's no. sick. You get weird when you get tired. Let's just find a motel. I'm not tired. Go another hundred miles. Oh no, oh no, oh no. Drowsy driving is very dangerous. Be careful. Clark. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. This isn't even funny. We're here. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh, this is not funny. It's a long way to Wally World. Try to relax. I'm way ahead of you, honey. Where are the children? What a nice thought. Mm. I can't believe that was a thing. Here's to a very relaxing vacation, a renewed love affair. <laughs> you know, honey, I never told you this. <laughs> I think there's something wrong here. Let's try this, my darling. We haven't done this for a long time. <laughs> Oh! What's that noise? Don't you kids knock anymore? I thought you were fighting or something. Where's mom? I'm under here, kids. <laughs> Back to bed. Weirdo Rama. Weirdo Rama. This is the very street wide herb used to keep law and order on. Why we didn't go to Hawaii? Go get a drink. What do you say? Hey, knucklehead. Set us up with four red eyes. Hey, yellow belly, I'm talking to you. Move your chicken wings, turkey. <laughs> I don't get these jokes, but that's not nice. Hey, underpants. Yellow. <laughs> I'm okay. I'm okay. A noise like that could impair the kids' hearing. What? Are you happy now, Clark? She's dead. Oh, what's the difference? It was fun anyway. Let's have a drink. What oh, do you what's say? What's the difference? Oh my God. I think Dodge City was enough for one day. Besides, Catherine and Eddie are expecting us. It's living history, Ellen. Knock it off! What's going on? Well, she's licking his hand and touching me with it. Come on, Rusty. That's gross. But Audrey's eating peanut butter cups and smiling with stuck all over her teeth. Audrey. <gasps> I'm Ooh. trying to concentrate on the road.
love me for a license like this. You're doing 80 miles an hour. Doesn't seem like it, does it? Slow down! <laughs> Please don't go to the house of mud. <sighs> Loving history, Ellen. <laughs> Is this the same Eddie from the Christmas one? Rusty and Audrey. This is Vicky and Dale. How old are you, little one? Uh, she's born without a tongue, Clark. <laughs> no. This is the old homestead, huh? I don't know for how long, though. Makes been after me like flies on a rib roast. I know the feeling. Yeah, I bet you could use a cool one, huh? Now you're talking. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going steady, and I French kiss. So everybody does that. Yeah, but Daddy says I'm the best at it. Dear heavens. Hey, you got Pac-Man? No. You got Space Invaders? Nope. You got Asteroids? No, but my dad does. Can't even sit on the toilet some days. So, so what do you do here? <sighs> you got a stack of nudie books this high. Oh, she's beautiful. Would you want to sell any of them to me? No. I cherish these. Look at it. <laughs> I use them a lot. How do you use a magazine? Did you have a bop your ball, honey? I'm never going to unhear that. And Edna, she's still alive. Oh, you bet. Frankly, without her social security, we'd never be able to live like this. Looks like you've really got your hands full. Daddy says after the baby comes, I can quit one of my night jobs. Vicky, can I help you with that Kool-Aid? I don't know when they call this stuff hamburger helper. It does just fine by itself. I like it better than tuna helper myself. No meat in this? You get plenty of meat at home. Be polite. Have some ketchup. And Edna, helper's getting cold. You were the ones that sent me the fruitcake for Christmas. Made me so sick. We thought you enjoyed fruitcake. You enjoy throwing up every five minutes, Claude? Clark. Am I gonna eat or am I gonna starve to death? Oh my gosh. I am uncomfortable. Did you tell Clark and Ellen the good news? What's the good news? You're driving me to Phoenix! Did you win your pig competition? Yeah, first place. Who is she? Vicky, don't get offended, but being a farmer's not too cool, you know. How cool is this? Who was that? No, I got laid off when they closed that asbestos factory. I wouldn't <laughs> even know it. Why don't you just ask him for the money, Eddie? Could you maybe spare a little? Sure, Eddie. How much you need? I fit you two thousand dollars. <laughs> This is for you, Clark. Go on, open it. <laughs> oh, Eddie. Hi. Oh, oh, Eddie. Hi, Hi Clark. <laughs> Look at her trying to avoid his kids. Here he is, you. Uncle Clark. What is this, a dog? Yeah, it's Aunt Edna's. Hi, how are you, little fella? <clears throat> Better make some space for him in the back. No. Ow, ow. He's cool with this? Have a good trip. Thanks, Vic. Oh my gosh, everything about that. Oh. So did Clark give him $52,000? Rusty, stop playing with the dog and come and have some lunch. <laughs> oh gosh, make it stop. Please stop. Oh no. Don't do that. Don't do this. My sandwich is all wet. Oh, God. The dog went on the picnic basket. <laughs> oh, I hate everything. <laughs> oh. It's only going to get worse, isn't it? Until someone says, could things get any worse? And let's go start pouring rain. A long walk and a bath. Rusty, take care of Dinkum's. Daddy bites. Bite him back. How pretty she is. We like three tents for the night. That'll be thirty-seven dollars. It's the three tents. Oh, they're very nice tents, and that price includes scenery and wildlife fun. Oh, come on, Clark. It seems like a nice place. Seems like a pretty mm -hmm. good deal, though. You want my street? Please. We like to send out a mailer. Too cheap to pay for a hotel room, huh? Ooh, Clark, this tent smells. And now this is your tent. I'm not a camper, guys. I have fond memories camping growing up, but I also had to hold my pee for four days. I don't think there's enough room for two in this sleeping bag. Right now we're one. One heart beating for two. Oh. Wild animal. I know. Wild animal. I'm gonna go for it, honey. I kill that dog. What do you say, honey? Despite all the little problems, it really is fun, isn't it? No, but with every new day, there's fresh help. <laughs> But she's an optimist. Hey, 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 you're welcome. He took a big one right on the end and explained. Good boy. 
Oh. He's just calling out random commands. Ow. 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 Hey, 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 easy kid, come on, cut it out. Everybody in the car. Or perhaps you don't want to see the second largest ball of twine on the face of the earth, which is only four short hours away. <laughs> second largest. Sweetie, do you hear that rattle? God, Dad, check it out behind you. Will you hold my purse? <laughs> Get out of the car. If I wasn't in uniform, I'd split your skull with the butt of this revolver faster than you could say police brutality. Whatever it is I've done, I'm sure I can explain. Explain this, you son of a bitch. I tied him to the rear bumper when I was packing the car. I'm very sorry. I feel terrible. How do you think that little dog feels? Hopefully kept up with you for a mile or so. Tough little mutt. Yeah. You've been exceeding the speed limit. Dad wasn't speeding. He was speeding, Rusty. You see kids a car. Here's the lease, sir. I'm going back to get the rest of the carcass off the road. Thank you, officer. Did Edna hear? This is very silly. What's your idea of a good restaurant? Dog oh, killer! Nah, uh, 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 new car, I'll take it. Oh, kids. <laughs> Waitress! <laughs> no way. <laughs> Who is this chick? His wife's sleeping. <laughs> To your hair. <laughs> You're sweating. <laughs> Are you blushing? Got sweaty, yes. Come on, honey, look at the mountains. Breathe the air. I guess there's not much more that could happen to us. She said it. I need my vanity case. All my credit cards are in it. I've already called the bank and told them you lost them. I've got my credit cards and we've still got plenty of cash. Don't you trust me? As long as you don't tie me to the rear bumper. Oh, burn. That hurt, Ellen. <laughs> I honestly don't think you're going to find the Grand Canyon on this road. Ma, I saw some detour signs. When they close the road, they put up big signs like this one. <laughs> <laughs> No. Oh, I think I broke my nose. I just got my period. I better check under the hood. How are they gonna fix the car? He shouldn't even have a license. He should be behind bars. Sit down and shut up. You go, Ellen. Rusty, come on up here. Oh, Russ. <laughs> I'm gonna have to hike down the road a bit, find a service station. He's actually keeping his cool way better than I expect. You know, I haven't had much of a chance to talk to you man to man, Russ. Well, I've only been a man a few days, Dad. I guess I've missed an awful lot. First, I didn't want to take this <laughs> vacation. When I was your age, my dad shared a beer with me, and I thought it was the best thing in the world. <sighs> when I was a boy, just about every summer we'd take a vacation. Nope, nope, nope. We never had fun. And you know something, Russ? Oh, boy. What that? We're going to have fun. I better get a move on if I want to get us out of here by dark. Good talk, son. Talk, Dad. Where are you going? Got to be a phone or a gas station around here somewhere, honey. That's Over the river very and desolate. the woods to grandmother's house we go. Oh, oh no. You guys. There's nothing. What a... Help him. Help him. He actually might die. I'm dead. Here, boy. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Hi, how are you? Clark! <laughs> are you all right? I uh, feel fine! These two nice Indians and a man on a camel called it show to our daddy's back! She's so nice. I would be swearing. Yep, in my head. You must have got manure for your brains. Well, I'm from out of town. What's the bill? How much you got? No, no, I'm asking how much the repairs are. I'm asking you how much you got. What's your sheriff think of your business practices? <laughs> I feel robbed for him. Oh no, it's not even fixed. Oh no. Audrey, honey, how much babysitting money do you have? 35. Where's Edna? She's asleep, Clark. Wanna look through Edna's purse? Clark. Um. She has 11 cents, Dad. Terrific. I'm sorry, sir. I can't accept this credit card. Why? It's been reported lost. Look, I've lost all my cash, and we're on our way to California. Wally World? Yeah. 
Wally, Wally World. World. I can't accept a check without a major credit card. I'm making this out for $1,000. Give me $300 in cash and keep $700. All for doing nothing more than acting like a total creep. Ten working days. <gasps> Help him out, sir. But doesn't this check have his name on it? Okay, let's go, come on. Don't you want to look at the Grand Canyon? Yeah. <laughs> Crack open those sandwiches I got at the gas station. I'm so hungry I can eat a sandwich from a gas station. <laughs> Please get off me. Are we almost to Phoenix? It's only a few hours to Phoenix. Let her be, she's fine. She's not fine. She's dead. <laughs> A dead person breathed on me. Is she actually? What are we gonna do, Clark? We could call your cousin Normie and he could come and get her, I guess. That's the meanest, coldest. Mom, we don't have to ride with the dead person, do we? All they have to do is look for the buzzards. <gasps> oh, hell, then we'll drive her to cousin Normie's for Pete's sake. She can't weigh more than 100 pounds. You can't put her up on that roof. It's not as if it's gonna rain or something. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. <laughs> this is too much. Don't just blurt it out about Edna dying. How about if I ask him to play 20 questions? No. I'm going to Flagstaff, be back on Monday. Oh. My. Gosh. What are they going to do? Okay, let's go! We can't leave her on the patio. It's raining all over her. She can't catch a cold now, Mom. Oh my gosh. We have to at least say something. Okay, bow your heads, bow your heads. Oh God, though the Hindus speak of karma, give her a break. Clark. Honey, I'm not an ordained minister. I'm doing my best. Lord, we love this woman with all our heart. Let's not overdo it, Mom. But my husband wants his beloved family to get to Wally World. Have mercy on his soul. Hey, man, let's go. He left his dead mother tied to a lawn chair in his Is backyard. I'm sure he won't. Mind. I don't want to go to Wally World. I wouldn't mind if we just went home. It's been one disaster after another. Wally World's overrated anyway. Oh. What do you think? I think you're all in the head. <gasps> We're 10 hours from the fun park and you want to bail out. This is no longer a vacation. It's a quest. It's a quest for fun. I'm going to have fun and you're going to have fun. You're going to have fun and you're going to like it. You'll be whistling symphony doodah out of your ass. <laughs> Praise Marty Moose. <laughs> His mother on the patio. I'm trying to treat my family to a little fun. Tomorrow you'll probably kill the desk clerk and drive us a thousand miles to see the world's largest ball of mud. You know what your problem is, Ellen? Oh, we're here. We're doing it. Wouldn't know a good time if it came up and bit you. Where are you going? What do you care? <laughs> it's like a silent film right now. Stop. Waiting for someone? No! Mind if I sit down? Having a nice little family vacation? No, the truth of it is, I own this motel. Well, I thought you were gonna say you work for the CIA. That's an old bit, huh? Really? Oh, no. Just trying to have a little fun. It's too bad you're married. I'm in the mood for some fun. She's joking. Married? Oh, Don't you dare. You mean those people I'm with? It's my brother's family. My brother's ring. Don't you dare, Clark! It sort of helps to complete the disguise. It's a good disguise. I like the station wagon. She knows he's full of crap. My credo is, you only go around this crazy merry-go-round once. I agree. <laughs> yeah, that's my credo. Don't you dare. Thank you. Thank you. Don't you swim? Oh, yeah, I'm oh, yeah. completely at ease in the water. I'm proficient in many strokes, and I dive. Yeah. He's hallucinating, right? Black hole! <gasps> Clark. Guess what, honey? This person here was uh, here. I didn't see this person, so I screamed. That's why I yelled. I was so surprised. You can imagine, can't you, honey? Honey? I'd stay if I weren't married, but I am. I know. Enjoy the rest of your trip. You too. Clark. What are you doing up? You woke the whole motel up, Dad. <laughs> you know I wouldn't do anything to hurt your mom. It seems like you would, a little Clark. When you get older, you get these feelings make you do things you wouldn't normally do. Like swimming naked with girls? Oh, no, that's a waitress. I was ordering in some fish for you and fish. Audrey, Mom. Swimming waitress. Swimming naked waitress. You think Mom will buy it? Good talk, son. You are in deep. Are you mad? She is so out of your league, Clark. Do you like that girl? How could I like a girl like that? She's ugly. <laughs> 
love you. I know how to have fun. Honey, you really don't have to prove anything to me. I want us to have some fun together. <gasps> she forgave him way too easy. <laughs> We're almost there. We're almost there. Everybody just take it easy. Wally, Wally World. World, next three exits. We Wally made World. World. We made it. The Griswolds are one hell of a family, huh? We made it. No. Is it closed? Where are all the cars? First one's here. <laughs> Come on, I'll race you. Please don't tell me it's closed. I cannot handle if this is closed. <laughs> Shorts. <laughs> His face. No. We're closed for two weeks to clean and repair America's favorite family fun park. Sorry. <laughs> what? What are you doing? He buys toys. We go to his movies. He owes us, right? Hey, right, he owes us. Clark, you're scaring me. I just think somebody owes us an explanation, that's all. Come on, come on. What's he gonna do? Where are you going? I'll be right back. Just gonna get some sporting goods. I think they owe us a little explanation. I think they owe us a little fun, okay? Sorry, folks, park's closed. The moose out front should have told you. We're here to see Mr. Roy Wally. John Candy. Nobody notified this office. I'm notifying you. I'm afraid I'm gonna need a little more than that, sir. How's this? <laughs> Where did you get that? Sporting goods store, honey. You do what I say and it won't be any problem, okay? We just drove 2,460 miles and Moose says you're closed, I say you're open. What's going on here? Freeze! Sit, come on, lie down. Oh. Roll over. <laughs> Roll over. Hey. Oh Let's ride, come on. <laughs> you boys and girls, make sure you keep your hands on the handlebars at all times. Where are the big rides, the big ones? They're doing it. They're going along with this. Has your father ever killed anyone before? Oh, just a dog. Oh, and my Aunt Edna. You can't prove that, Rusty. Ooh, I had a bad experience on this ride once before. What happened? I threw up. No, don't do that again. This is beyond ridiculous. <laughs> it's still pointy. <laughs> That's not a real gun, is it, Clark? What, are you kidding? This is a Magnum P.I. It's a BB gun. You couldn't even break the skin with that thing. They could put a lodge under the skin and cause a very bad infection. I'm telling you. You're not going to... Oh. You see, I told you. <laughs> I warned you. Do they see the SWAT team from up there? The loop de loop. <laughs> hands behind your heads! How many are there? Tell me, what, what's going on? I had a great time on your ride. It was the most fantastic time I've ever had in my life. There. I'm glad you like it. It's Roy Wally, huh? You know, I didn't even get sick this time. Quiet! I didn't get sick. What? Uh, I think I can make some sense out of this. I'm Clark W. Griswold. W. Uh, my wife, Ellen. We're really big fans of yours. My children, Audrey and Rusty. We could have gone anywhere we wanted to this summer. But when I asked my kids, what'd you say? Why? Shut up, Russ. Audrey? Wally World, Dad? Wally World, Dad. It was closed down, Roy. If you'd seen the look on my kids' faces, wouldn't you do the same thing for your children? No. You want me to take them downtown no. and book them? Um, forget it, officer. <laughs> I'm not gonna press any charges. Out! <laughs> Did I say trust me, huh? <laughs> <laughs> oh, my gosh. All oh, the SWAT teams on the right. My God. Oh my gosh, okay, so that was ridiculous. What do you call that kind of comedy? It's not slapstick, it's not like airplane or space balls comedy. It's funny, I mean, it's funny because you just know it's like it's gonna get worse and worse and he's so ridiculous and losing his mind on this family vacation. I feel like we've all had small glimpses of that on road trips. Obviously not to that extent, but it was definitely laugh out loud funny. It wasn't like that 
clever comedy, like The Big Lebowski or Fargo. I think that's still one you have to see. It did have the planes, trains, and automobiles feel to it, where you're on a vacation and everything is getting worse and worse and worse. Probably a classic for a reason. <laughs> My dad would love this. <laughs> Some of these scenes are popping up in my head. Oh my gosh. Uncle Eddie's family. The run. The run at the end was the best part. <laughs> He's like... <laughs> oh, okay. Definitely has to be in a mood. It was fun. Oh, it's the kid from the breakfast club, isn't it? The nerdy guy from the breakfast club. That's who the girl is. But who is the... Eddie's daughter who gave her the weed? I swear she's someone. Oh, okay. This actually did make me excited to watch Christmas Vacation again at Christmas time. It's funny because all of our family trips have been pretty much to Disneyland, so. <laughs> okay, well, thanks for watching along with me. Have a wonderful night.